Oh, styrofoam. Lovely. It is the bane of solid waste companies. Yeah, this stuff is used for everything, you know, from home insulation to coffee cups. Most of it ends up in landfills because it hasn't been cost effective to recycle. But as Denver 7's Lance Hernandez shows us, a local company has found a way to change that. It takes a, a very, very long time, centuries in fact, to break down in a landfill. John Griffith of Alpine Waste and Recycling says styrofoam is so light, it costs more to ship a truckload than the product is worth, unless it's been processed in a densifier. Griffith's company just purchased this densifier with a $45,000 grant from the Food Service Packaging Institute. The operators load loose foam into the machine, which grinds it up and then heats it. The densifier melts it into a, a workable material. The heated chips are then condensed into a solid block, which weighs about 60 pounds. It takes several cartloads of foam to make a block. There's enough foam in the blocks to make it cost-effective to ship a truckload to other users, who then process it into things like trays or picture frames. Griffith says his company strives to be a leader in sustainability. That's why they wanted to do something with styrofoam, which doesn't break down, but does break up into tiny pieces. When this material is out in the environment, animals can ingest it, it can make its way into streams and ultimately to the ocean, and, and it can be a very big environmental uh, uh, hazard. Lance Hernandez, Denver 7. Alpine Waste and Recycling will hold a contest on America Recycles Day. The company is encouraging everyone to collect as much styrofoam as they can by November 15th. And then next Monday, bring it to their plant at 645 West 53rd Place. The winner will receive two weeks worth of takeout lunches to El Jardin Restaurant, and that's in Commerce City.